Hello and welcome to our new studio. This is the very first recording in our new studio and I'm really excited about that. My name is Peter West and we're going to be reviewing the POTS adapter. So I've got the data sheet over here. And so we have this new POTS adapter. It's cost-effective voice over LTE uh, solution. We have two RJ11 ports, a USB-C, and that can be networked, so you can log into this device and manage it or power it. And then it has a DC power input. Um, this thing can be used in elevators, fire, uh, you know, for fire alarm systems, alarm systems, or if you just like uh, 1990s phones. We, we went to Best Buy and we bought a little phone for it. It says that it is uh, connected, so hopefully this works. I, we literally just bought this, so I, hopefully that works. What's cool about this is it can also be managed in in control. So supposedly we'll be able to add the serial number to in control and manage that. Um, it uses low power consumption, built for flexibility, it's very tiny, easily scalable with in control, um, USB-C or four pin, uh, and you can use the new four pin battery adapter as well for redundant uh, uh, USB-C power. And so plug and play, certified for industrial, uh, industrial and commercial applications, it's reliable and cost effective, and it's pretty simple. So uh, we're gonna go ahead and Play with this, we're gonna add the serial number to end control. I got a T-Mobile voice over LTE line. Once again, I don't know if this works and I don't know if this works, so we're gonna find out together. So the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna grab this serial number and we're gonna add it to end control. We're gonna go and go settings, create group. I'm gonna do POTS adapter. Create group. We're gonna put in our serial number. POTS adapter. We got this for our elevator. Um, so I'm pretty excited about this because our building has an elevator and it, we were paying a lot of money for a phone line. So uh, we were like, hey, let's use this new POTS adapter to replace it. So we have a quick start guide. Um, it basically is a QR code that probably sends you to the user manual. Velcro. 12 volt power. Cellular antennas. And the POTS adapter. So we have our, our POTS adapter device. You can see here we have our two RJ11s, our USB C power. So I bet you I could plug this right in and it would actually turn on and work from my computer. Yep, look at that. It lit right up. And so now it's going to show up as a network device right on my computer. Uh, or I could plug this in 12 volts. So actually, because it, that works, I'm just going to leave that alone. Then on the back side, I've got my cellular SIM cards, and then I've got the cellular antennas. So I can just screw on the antennas here. There we go. And I'm gonna need a Phillips screwdriver. I'm going to unscrew this. There's my SIM card slot. It does not have a redundant, which is weird to see. Everything Peplink has ever done is redundant. So I'm gonna stick this SIM card in here. There we go. And then I can put this back on, because like I said, we're gonna use this in our elevator, so this is actually gonna go into production. There we go. And I got my uh, status, my power, and my cellular lights are on. Now this is supposed to create a network interface, so let me open up my command line. IP config. So I have ethernet adapter, 192.168.50. So let's try this, uh, 192.168, and then I'm gonna log in. Oh, this POTS adapter. Okay, admin, admin. Oh, wow. Okay, so we have the POTS adapter. I can see my ICCID, my LAN MAC address. It's up for three minutes. Internet connection is already connected. Voice status says reg. This thing booted fast. I mean, I put that SIM card in, and it was online. That's nuts. So LTE live data. LTE data usage, modem settings, administration, okay. Okay, so we see that it's connected, it says internet status connected, voice registration status registered. 
Um, like I said, it's being powered by USB. So let me turn this on speakerphone. Nothing. And then we will plug this in. Oh, look at that dial tone. Let's try it again. Nice. So let's see if it's connected to in control. So we see that, um, that it's uh, internet connected status. So we're gonna go to in control here. And you can see that the POTS adapter is online. It's been online for 12 minutes. This is amazing. And look at this, call status, phone status. So I've got my voicemail none. Oh, this is cool. Last called number, which I called my office. And it says it's registered. This is really cool. So I've got the POTS adapter online. It's reporting on any control. You could have a whole bunch of these. So for like us, we're gonna call this the elevator. So this is gonna be um, 3919 elevator. And then it's gonna be at uh, our new office on. There we go, it's at our new office. And I would just hit save. And there is our 3919 elevator with our router. That is pretty cool. Let's just, now that it's online, let's see if there's any firmware registered for it. No, okay, still no firmware, but still cool. Okay, so we're running the latest firmware and uh, it is online, I got dial tone, I have internet, so this is amazing. Well, thank you for joining me at this just quick overview and setup of the POTS adapter, and um, I'm gonna hook this up in my elevator, we'll probably do a follow-up video, but otherwise, thank you for watching, have a great day.